Here now with his classic five levels of drinking routine is Larry Miller. There are five levels of drinking. Six if you live in a trailer park. <laughs> okay. But never mind that now. We will deal with five. See if these look familiar. Level one. Let's say it's 11 o'clock on a weeknight. You had a few beers. You get up to leave. Because you have work the next day when one of your friends buys another round. One of your unemployed friends. <laughs> Well, here at level one, you think to yourself, oh, well, come on, for goodness sake, as long as I get seven hours sleep, I'm cool. Level two, midnight. Had a few more beers. You've just spent 20 minutes arguing against artificial turf. <laughs> you get up to leave again, but at level two, a little devil appears on your shoulder. And now you're thinking, hey, I'm out with my friends. What am I working for anyway? Besides, why, as long as I get five hours sleep, I'm cool. Level three, one in the morning. You've abandoned beer for tequila. <laughs> you see, at level three, you love the world. What a feeling. Oh! On the way to the bathroom, you buy a drink for the stranger at the end of the bar just because you like his face. You get drinking fantasies. Fellas, hey, fellas. If we all bought our own bar, we could live together forever. <laughs> yeah, but at level three, that devil's a little bit bigger. And he's buying. <laughs> and you're thinking, well, come on now. As long as I get three hours sleep and a complete change of blood, I'm cool. <laughs> Level four, two in the morning. And the devil is bartending. <laughs> For last call, you ordered a bottle of rum and a Coke. <laughs> you are artificial turf. <laughs> this time on your way to the bathroom, you punch the stranger at the end of the bar. And because you don't like his face. <laughs> you and your friends decide to leave right after you get thrown out. <laughs> and one of you knows an after-hours bar, and here at level four, you actually think to yourself, well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> as long as I'm only going to get a few hours sleep anyway, I might as well... Stay up all night! <laughs> ah, well, that'd be good for me. <laughs> I don't mind going to that board meeting looking like Keith Richards. <laughs> ah, besides, as long as I get 31 hours sleep tomorrow... <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> Level five, five in the morning. Whew. After unsuccessfully trying to get your money back at the tattoo parlor, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know anyone named Ruby. And your friends wind up across a border in a bar filled with guys who've been in prison as recently as that morning. <laughs> the kind of place where even the devil is going, uh, I gotta turn in. Bye bye. <laughs> I gotta be in hell at nine. I've got that brunch with Hitler. I can't miss that. I can't. <laughs> You're all drinking some kind of thick blue liquor. Usually used to clean combs. <laughs> A waitress with fresh stitches in her head comes over.
And you're thinking, someday I'm going to marry that girl. <laughs> Suddenly, one of your friends stands up and screams, We're driving to Florida! <laughs> and passes out. <laughs> you crawl outside, you hit the worst part of level five. The sun. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, you walk out of a bar in daylight and people are on their way to work or jogging and they look at you and they know and they say, who's Ruby? <laughs> look, folks, let's be honest. If you're 19 and you stay up all night, it's a victory. It's like you beat the night. You remember that feeling. If you're over 30, that sun is like God's flashlight. We all say the same prayer then. Say it with me now. I swear. I will never do this again. How long? As long as I live. And some of us have that little addition, and this time, I mean it. <laughs>